Hi everyone, so we've just uh, come down to the end of the silent march uh, for the anniversary of the Grenfell Tower disaster two years ago. Um, I'm not going to go down to the tower around the corner, it's a very sombre mood here, very sombre, everybody's completely silent so I've come off just to one side to just to do this live stream. Um, you know, it's two years on and the official figures were 72 people were killed um, on that day and died simply because the Tories wanted people to make, you know, wanted a, a, maybe a few private contracts as a few rich people, even richer by cutting costs and cladding housing that people live in with flammable material to save a few pennies. Um, and as a result, 72 people died. Now, we know that 120,000, 140,000 people, however many it is, have died from a direct result of austerity cuts in, since the Tories came to power in 2010, um, for the you know, almost decade now of austerity. Um, there's 72 more, at least 72 more, that's what they do the official figures, as I say, but there's at least 72 of those who died in that building that is behind me around the corner. I'm not going to go down there, like I say, because there's a big crowd and um, it is a sombre mood and there's not a word being spoken in the crowd. It really is quite, um, it's quite haunting, to be honest. Um, just a couple of things that I want to, want to touch on just before I end this live stream. It's been a long day. I'm going to get back and try and get all the stuff I've got when I get back to Wolverhampton tomorrow. But many of these people who were survived that disaster, you know, they still haven't been housed. The money that was donated to them still hasn't been distributed around, you know. Um, and I know it's it's a somber mood here, and it's extremely powerful that they, that. There's so many people here and there's not a word being spoken, you know. You can have all the silent marches you want in the world, but it's not going to change anything with regards to the government, you know, cuts and the cause of um, these deaths, which is greed and neoliberalism. That's simply what, it, what has caused it all. Um, yeah, I don't think silent walks are going to solve it. I, I wish I would, I really would. This was extremely powerful, but I honestly think that people in the streets, in a different way, might actually change things. And, you know, as Mark Blythe likes to say, uh, the Hamptons is not a defensible position. Low-lying beaches, you know. When they, when, they, when they come to eat you with the pitchforks, yeah, it's not really a defensible position, those beaches. So, I... It's been a long day. I don't want to go down there around the corner and start talking because it's very, very quiet down there. And um, uh, I wanted to come here and pay my respects and just see this, you know, this area to myself. You, it's really quite remarkable the crossroad just up the road from Grenfell, um, just how the other half live, just literally round the corner. Whereas here they're saving, they were saving a bit of money, um, which cost the lives of 72 people. So. I'm going to get off now, um, yeah, get on to your MP and start complaining, start demanding action about this because there is still something like 20, 40,000 people in housing up and down the country that is still Hello. clad um, the way Grenfell Tower was. Please so it's just going to start now, I'm going to sign off now and hopefully take some um, people the front, if you can. Yeah, they're, they're asking for people to hold to the silence, so I'm going to sign off and I'll be back tomorrow with more videos. Take care everyone. Peace.